You know, I woke up today extremely thankful. And to tell you the truth, that's how I start my day. Before I get out of bed, I say to myself what I'm thankful for. And then as I get my morning going, I have a journal I write in. And it's nothing major. The, the first part of it is what I'm grateful for. And then I start writing down my I am statements, just getting myself ready for the day. We, you know, I've told this story so many times, but I am a retired, <coughs> excuse me, math teacher, public schools, taught in, I just saw a post about this on Facebook. Somebody said it's a teacher appreciation day or week or, and how many schools they'd been in, how many students. I taught in one, two, three, four, six schools, <laughs> over 28 years, six schools. And, you know, on average, that's, you know, 28 years, it's like 100, 120 kids a year. So 30 times 100, 3,000 kids, something like that. Um, pretty amazing. It really is. That wasn't what I chose to do in life. I mean, I, I got my teaching degree early in college and uh, practice taught. And, and then I had an opportunity, actually, I had to help my dad out and he had a retail store. Uh, he had bought a second hardware store and um, he needed uh, some things happen inside our family and he needed help. And I was the only, I have two brothers and two sisters. I was the only one available. And I had made this statement, I would never go back to my hometown. And I was the first one back there for 14 years. And I, I just want to tell you the story. If you're, um, you know, what's so amazing is we had an amazing business going on. We had three hardware stores. The original was hardware and furniture. Then I had a hardware and sporting goods, biggest store, uh, 10,000 square feet. And then we had one in a different town. And all in small little towns where, you know, like we, we were living a great life. We, we worked, um, you know, my store had to be open six, seven, seven days a week. But, you know, I, I get take time off and um, we were doing well. And and then all of a sudden, here's what happens. You know, the economy changed. You know, it's in our town, what happened, it's a, a Walmart came in. A uh, store by the name of Menards, which is like a, a Home Depot, maybe not as well known or as big, but it was up there. And uh, Kmart all came in at once. And I remember that we had true value stores and the, the true value people said we could deal with them, right? We were okay, we could deal with them. Well, holy cow. Walmart came in with one idea, is to put a couple stores under. We couldn't compete. I mean, we were, uh, it, you know, it, it was our money, <laughs> our bank accounts. So we ended up closing the store I was in and, and shoot, my world changed. Cause all of a sudden I didn't have a job. Right? I didn't have a position. We weren't big enough to have two, two of us in one store. And anyway, it was time to leave too. It, it was just time to go for us, but it just opened my eyes. Um, you know, I taught this, as I told you, I'm a math teacher, and math teachers sometimes are, are kind of funny, but I used to tell kids about, here's how math works in business. We had a store that had this much volume, and we were making big money. I lived in a lake, had everything we wanted to have. Our overhead was so much money. And then here comes the big guns, and our volume dropped below our overhead. Doesn't take rock science to understand that you can't make money when you aren't in profit. So I went to teaching and you know, I felt a calling. It's a couple of things happened, but I felt a calling. I knew I could help kids. My kids were growing and I was coaching a lot of kids at that time. So I knew I could help. And you, know, you kept reading where they needed math teachers. So I went back and, and, and taught in some really great schools and you know, really put us in position we are today. Um, and then I retired, but at the same time, because of that experience of having to close that store um, and not having income coming in, it, I kept my side options open. 
I always had my hands in something for two reasons. One, when we were in business, we, we had some tax people and they said that it's uh, having the right tax people will change the world for you. So I always had a small business because there were tax write-offs. Not as many as there are now, but the tax write-offs are businesses. The government wants you to have a business where you hire people. That's where the tax write-offs come from. A lot of them. So I've always had a business. Um, and this was really before MLM. I, I trained dogs. I, my wife trained horses. We, we did a lot of different things. Um, and then I found the online world. And I knew two things. Well, I had to go to school because I didn't understand it. I still go to school because it's all about branding you. People want to look at you and know that you're the right person for them. The, the one that's going to take them to the holy ground. Now, I'm in a company called LiveGood. And it's the only company I, have, I reach out and talk to people about. People come back, well, do you want to join this guy? No, I'm only in LiveGood. And there's a reason for it. One, it's low cost for people getting started. People can make money just by sharing a video and lots of money. They can buy products. It's a membership, so you buy products at retail price, below retail price, 50 to 75 cents below. Unbelievable. So I paid $49.95 to get started. Now it's $9.95 a month. Shoot. <laughs> Do you know how much a hardware store would cost right now? Or a McDonald's franchise? I mean, everyday people can't get in business like that. So I reach out to people that are network marketers or some people who want to do an online business and they want to make a little extra money. All I do is share a video. Livegoodtour.com forward slash Mark Nelson. We always get the link. They either say yes or no. Now some people, if they get two no's, they say, that's it, I'm not going to do it anymore. I've heard no all my life, <laughs> especially teaching school. Um, but hey, if you would have an opportunity to make some money, to get healthier, would that interest you? If that does, I want you to go watch a free tour. Marksfreetour.com. Go watch it. Marksfreetour.com.